In this episode, the naked truth about life living on a sailboat in the UK, mostly spent living on Yurenko, exploring perfect remote beaches and enjoying beautiful blue crystal clear water, all the while learning many new skills. Well, the truth is, these are the very best bits about life living on a boat, and in this episode, as it happens, I think we managed to capture many of those moments. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join us on this epic adventure. You were left on lobster pot duty. It looked like you were asleep, mate. I catch you snoozing. Good morning. We are motoring out of a little anchorage that we stopped in last night very quickly. And we, we are on our way somewhere. We're embarking somewhere new. Somewhere we've never been before. And the only clue I'm going to give you is it's somewhere that has historically very much involved pirates. Traps everywhere. Yeah, I'll be the traps everywhere and you can't see them to the last second. So we're just heading around the Lizard Peninsula and the lobster pots must be getting swept under with the tide and so they're really hard to spot. So it's all eyes forward as we go around here. That goes for you too, Hank. Where are your eyes? They're not forward. Uh, a lot of people have asked about these, they're Senin headsets. We bought them on Amazon. If you want to know, I don't know if they're the best headsets in the world ever. They were just, they were a good price point. They weren't very expensive compared to some others, but they've been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So if you think these would be handy for you, I'll pop a link in the description, go check them out. Uh, we will get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon if you like them and buy them, costs you no extra. But I know some people get the hump about that. So if you want to buy these, but make sure we don't get any kickback at all, then you can still buy them for the same price by going to Amazon manually and then just looking for Senon Bluetooth headsets, if that's what you want to do. Um, but either way, dead handy. So uh, yeah, grab yourself some. All right, we're all set. The water is crystal clear. I can literally see where the chain goes. The anchor seems like it's locked in. And if you guys, any of you guys manage to guess where we are right now, where do you think? Have you had your guesses? Have you typed them in the comments? I'm gonna be checking. All right, some more clues to come if you haven't. I'm just searching out the harbour now because we're just making a very quick pit stop here to pick up some precious cargo before continuing the journey. I think I found them. I wonder if Hank's seen them. Spotted. Eagle-eyed Hank. When he's two meters... Whoa, whoa. All right, mate. That's desertion, that is. You can't just leave the boat. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is Carly's mum, Carly's stepdad, and we're going on an adventure. We are going on an adventure. Welcome.
whilst we still have a little tiny smidgen of daylight left, we're just moving Anchorage because it got a little bit rolly where we are. So we're going to head over to St. Michael's Mount, which looks like it should protect us from the direction the swell's coming in. If not, it's going to be very easy to get back and drop the anchor here. This is an easy anchorage. But aren't the colours nice this time of day? And after a remarkably good night's sleep, we all woke up to beautiful sunshine and flat, calm looking seas. It's safe to say we were all in really high spirits and ready to set sail in search of some dolphins. Flattening out. Roll on the Caribbean, baby. It's quite a temperate steel drum. That is one rolling the dice for a redhead. How's that for a spot? After stopping for a refreshment and taking a moment to enjoy the view over our new anchorage, we all headed back to Kadoa, where I was tasked with going out to hunt some fresh local seafood. The water around the islands is unbelievably clear. I came across a cage packed full of spiny lobsters, creatures which I'd never seen before. This actually gave me some hope that if somebody else managed to find all these, perhaps if I go exploring, looking under some rocks and nooks and crannies, maybe I could find my own too. Not exactly what I was looking for, but a little lobster all the same. I decided that after catching a few glimpses of this one, 
he looked a little bit too small, so I left him be. And now, armed with my lobster snare, I tried a slightly deeper and rockier spot in hopes of finding that little one's bigger brother. And after not finding any species of fish that I wanted to shoot, or any decent sized lobster, I actually climbed out of the water empty handed. Although luckily, the day before we set sail to pick Carly's parents up, I managed to harvest a couple of nice sized sea bass just in case I ended up in a situation just like this. Oh my gosh! What's the size of my leg? Oh. That one's going to put about six meals in the freezer oh maybe on its own. Goodness. It's not bad, huh? Oh, wow. That freshly caught couple of bass. Look at the mealage. <laughs> That's some freshly shot Cornish sea bass. Oh. Oh. It's good? Mm. It's fresh. Oh good. Oh yeah. Mm. It's good. I feel like we've just stumbled onto a bit of a local big deal and we completely, we just didn't realise. Everyone's turning out to watch this. These, it looks like it's all women boats, so. The lionesses. <laughs> Hank, the race is over here, mate. You're looking like you're totally the wrong direction. Are you gonna come and cheer these women on? Or are you going to be antisocial? Come on, mate, let's come cheer these boating lionesses on. Let's go. Okay, good boy. There you go, come join the team. Come on. We have front row seats to sail GP, and now we've got the front row seats to this. I know. That's what life living on a boat in England does for you. Uh, yeah. Here they go. It looks like they're on the starting lines. Got the first boat here. And the starting line seems to run all the way across. We've got so many boats now. Another one. There we go. Look at the horse. I love listening to them all yeah. cheer. <laughs> Doesn't know exactly what you're cheering for. No. All right. As the sun began to set on the Isles of Scilly, we were once again reminded about exactly why we enjoy living on the water. Join us next time as we discover one of the quietest anchorages in the islands, enjoying more of the perfect beaches this great kingdom has to offer, and see how I get on as I attempt to improve my lobster diving skills.